Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the value of x that satisfies the given exponential equation. Now, the trick to solving this equation is to rewrite this quantity, that is the square root of x. And how are we going to do that? Now, let us remember that when we have a number a raised to the power log to base a of b, that this is equal to b. Now, since we are already working in base 4, let us have 4 raised to power log to base 4 of x. Of course, we know that this is equal to x. And since x is under the square root sign, what we are going to do is that we will raise both sides of this equation to power half. And of course, you know that when we have two powers like this, we can switch their places. So this becomes 4 to the power half to the power log to base 4 of x. And of course, 4 raised to power half is the square root of 4, which is equal to 2. So we have that this, that is the square root of x, is equal to 2 to the power log to base 4 of x. So this equation with this change is now going to be 3 to the power log to base 4 of x plus half plus 3 to the power log to base 4 of x minus half is equal to 2 to the power log to base 4 of x. And of course, you know that this equation is as good as solved. All we have to do now is to substitute d for log to base 4 of x. When we do that, this equation becomes 3 to the power d plus half plus 3 to the power d minus half is equal to 2 to the power d. Now let us simplify the left hand side. Of course you know that because of this addition this is going to be 3 to the power d multiplied by 3 to the power half and because of this subtraction this is going to be 3 to the power d divided by 3 to the power half and this is still equal to 2 to the power d. Now you know that we can factorize 3 to the power d out of this left hand side. When we do that we have 3 to the power d into when we divide 3 to the power d times 3 to the power half by 3 to the power d we have 3 to the power half left. Of course that is the square root of 3. In this case we have 3 to the power d divided by 3 to the power half, divided by 3 to the power d. That is going to leave us with 1 over 3 to the power half, which of course is equal to the square root of 3. And this is equal to 2 to the power d. Now the next thing we are going to do is to divide both sides of this equation by 3 to the power d. So we have that the square root of 3 plus 1 over the square root of 3 is equal to 2 to the power d divided by 3 to the power d. And of course, since these two numbers have the same exponent, we can combine them like so. Now let us look at this. We can combine these two into one single unit. Of course, you know that this is over 1. How do we do that? We multiply this by this. So you have root 3 times root 3. And that is equal to 3. Plus, you multiply this by this. That is 1 times 1. That is equal to 1. Divided by, you multiply this by this. That is 1 times root 3. So here we have root 3. And this is equal to 2 over 3 to the power d. 
And of course, this simplifies to 3 plus 1 is 4 over root 3 is equal to 2 over 3 to the power d. Now, of course, at this point, to solve this equation, all we have to do is to take log of both sides of the equation. And since we are already working in base 4, let us take log to base 4. So we have that log to base 4 of 4 over root 3 is equal to log to base 4 of 2 over 3 to the power d. Now, the next thing we are going to do is that we will apply the power rule of log readings to this right hand side. That is the rule that says that we can bring down this exponent, that is d, to the front of this log term to become a multiplier. When we do that, we have that log to base 4 of 4 over root 3 is equal to d times log to base 4 of 2 over 3. And of course, at this point, all we have to do to find the value of d is to divide both sides of this equation by log to base 4 of 2 over 3. So we have that d is equal to log to base 4 of 4 over root 3 divided by log to base 4 of 2 over 3. And of course, you know that if we apply the change of base formula to this, we have that d is equal to log to base 2 over 3 of 4 over root 3. But now let us remember that d is equal to log to base 4 of x is equal to log to base 2 over 3 of 4 over root 3. And of course, you, you know that when we have a statement like log to base a of b is equal to c, this simply means that a to the power c is equal to b. That is, b is equal to a to the power c. So we have that from here, x is equal to 4 to the power log to base 2 over 3 of 4 over root 3. And if you use your calculator to evaluate this, we have that x is approximately equal to 0 0.05717. So this is the value of x that satisfies this exponential equation. This is the exact value and this is the approximate value. And with that, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.